Hi. So today we're going to talk about Windows Virtual Desktop. And Windows Virtual Desktop from Microsoft represents the first time that cloud-based VDI is being brought to the masses. And what's been interesting about this is we've started seeing that there's folks from 120,000 seat enterprises to law offices with 15 lawyers that are all kind of clamoring to understand how do I take advantage of WVD and the benefits associated with it for me. And the funny thing about it is that the benefits are there regardless of the size of the organization you are, as long as you plan, migrate, manage, and ultimately optimize your journey to WVD. If you take this journey the right way, the truth is that every single person is going to have the simplest benefit of a great user experience that's persistent like at a fraction of the cost by leveraging multi-session and the traditional uh, characteristics associated with server-based computing. Now, there really are four facets to your overall journey to WVD. Number one, it's moving your existing infrastructure into the Azure cloud. Number two, it's understanding and taking advantage of the first multi-session Windows desktop OS. Number three, FS logics and user containerization so that you can cr truly create roaming user profiles. And number four, application containerization leveraging MSIX and ultimately we're gonna take advantage of MSIX app attach and dynamic application delivery. And today, what we're going to focus on is really the MSIX and app attachment because I just love big, hairy, and complex enterprise applications. Historically, when you start thinking about the adoption of a new file format, whether it was MSI, whether it was Thinstall, SFT, AppV, AppX, the limiting factor has really been focused on just hey, it's a new format and traditional legacy packaging just doesn't get up to speed quickly enough to get adoption at any type of scale. And there's a variety of reasons for that. Each of these application formats that come out are new. They require education. They require tooling. They require IT services to mature. They require partners to get on board it and understand this. And then ultimately, in order for these file formats to be adopted, the application owners and the lines of businesses have to create the right type of justification to say that this is a priority enough that we're going to repackage and readopt a brand new file format for the business. In this case, the really compelling thing around MSIX and ultimately AppAttach is the fact that you're completely abstracting the application from the operating system. And what this means is that if you take advantage of the file format properly, you're now going to be able to create truly resilient and portable applications that are multi-session friendly. Once you achieve this, that's when you're going to be able to take full advantage of the benefits of the native WVD Microsoft stack. We at Remo3 believe that the only way to take advantage of the full benefits of MSIX and achieve adoption at scale is through intelligent automation, not through traditional packaging practices. With Remo3 Cloud, what we've introduced is the first fully automated platform that focuses on assessing suitability, assessing modernization, and creating a management platform for all applications on their journey to WVD. This is really aimed towards line of businesses by removing the complexity associated with packaging and conversion and doing that heavy lifting in the back end so that you can achieve adoption at scale and not be limited by traditional and legacy packaging processes. So if you'd like to learn more about where we are today and our vision of where we're going to the future, please come to the website, remote3.com, and ask for a demo. We'd be happy to give you one.